had to change the name of this series to Stuff I Don't Like just so I don't get demonetized. Like. Most y'all only clicked on this video because it's negative. Like. The video don't have the word trolling in the title. A large portion of you for some reason don't think it's a trolling video. Like. If you don't clickbait your videos, they won't watch. If you do clickbait, they watch, claim they enjoyed it, but then in the same comment, they'll complain. Like. And the worst part is, a lot of y'all don't even know what clickbait is. You just be throwing that word around. An interesting title is not clickbait. Lying or grossly exaggerating your title for views is clickbait. Like. Every new feature YouTube ads benefits them and not the creators or the viewers. Like. I miss back when you used to be able to hit the like button and you could help another channel grow. Y'all remember that? You used to hit the like button and then it would show up in a big YouTuber's feed and then a lot of their viewers would go over to their channel and show them love and they would get subscribers. It was like a, it was a different way to grow and you don't have that anymore. Like. When I used to release a video, YouTube would auto tweet it out because I connected my Twitter account to my YouTube. These days, now three fourths of the time, it don't even do that anymore. I have to manually do it. It's because this site is so fucking broken. Like. You cannot upload videos notifying your subscribers that you are live streaming on Twitch anymore. Like. And what's hypocritical about banning people for using their YouTube to send their viewers over to their live stream on Twitch is YouTube doesn't enforce this policy across the board. I mean, they don't seem to have a problem with you sending your viewers over to Twitter where you can live stream or Instagram, but they do a Twitch. Hmm. It's almost like they see them as a threat or something. Like. And back when you could upload videos about your Twitch streams on YouTube, I was forced to turn the comments on because if I left them on, people would complain I was notifying them about the content that they subscribe for. Like. When the YouTube algorithm constantly recommends you watch your own videos, that shit is confusing because on one hand, it's like, I, it's my video. I know what the fuck it is. I don't want to watch it. But on the other hand, it's like, if I don't watch it, does that affect my status in the algorithm? Because maybe YouTube will count that as someone was not interested in your video because maybe like the algorithm doesn't see you you as you you're just a number i'm all i'm saying is god damn it this shit sucks like. you always see the same usernames complain about not being notified of seeing new videos in a sub box but they refuse to follow you on any other social media platform where they'll be notified like. a lot of y'all be exposing yourselves by telling me to do videos that i've already done and the worst part is they'll finally watch a video that they skipped over two years later and they'll leave a comment like yo that shit is fire or they'll come over to the stream yo i finally watched this video yo this shit is fire i didn't even know you did it yeah because you're too busy telling me to do it like. i had to upload the last gi podcast twice because the first time i uploaded it it never went hd youtube literally processed nothing for 24 hours straight do you know how long it takes to export and upload a two-hour video podcast? Like. It's always the people who don't hit the like button, don't share your videos on social media, and don't show up to the live streams who are the most vocal. Why I gotta pay this up on Twitch? What are these donations for? <laughs> Bruh, you were never gonna donate. Shut the fuck up. Like. This is a comment I recently got on a new video because I uploaded a segment of my new podcast, Hokage Thoughts. You know, follow me on anchor.fm slash the black Hokage, or you can find it on Spotify, new solo podcast. Anyways, uh, he didn't like that I uploaded a segment of my new podcast to YouTube. Uh, he was like, man, why are you just re-uploading pieces of the podcast to promote it? You think I'm not allowed to promote my content on my channel? I only uploaded the audio to the audio sites and then I promoted it on Twitter, but the majority of my audience is on YouTube. If I don't promote it, how will they know that it exists? Y'all really don't want me to pay my bill. Like. Nobody ever notices when you're constantly being provoked, but they will complain when you start to retaliate. Somebody will talk about fuck your mama, fuck your daddy, and you'll check their ass and then they'll leave a comment responding to your conversation in the comments. You shouldn't talk to your fans like bitch. That's not a fan. Shut the fuck up. Like. Am I the only one who gets videos in my sub box from people I'm not even sub to? That, that That's a new glitch going on. That's that like. Oh man, it is nothing like waking up in the morning, checking your email, and seeing you got a copyright claim on a five-year-old video. That's that like. The problem with YouTube's new policies is they don't hold everyone accountable. I mean, the people who are being affected by the adpocalypse the most are the people who did nothing wrong. The people who actually caused the adpocalypse, you know, the people who love to say racist shit in their videos and make Nazi jokes and fucking record people doing suicide in the forest. I mean, YouTube didn't do nothing to them, but they sure will take my money away. That's that's when you upload a video and it gets hit with not suitable for most advertisers, so you got to submit it for a review. Like. When you upload a video, it says it's suitable for most advertisers, so you release the video to your public. It gets a bunch of views, and then 24 to 48 hours later, it gets marked not suitable for advertisers. So you lose all that little money that you made, and now you're waiting for a review. 
So many other YouTubers and I have noticed that when videos get marked not suitable for all advertisers, they notice that they get significantly less viewers. I mean, it's almost like YouTube only wants to promote certain content creators. Like. Then my own viewers talk shit to me in the comment section about views because, you know, the truth doesn't matter with this whole ad thing and censorship because, you know, it's much more funny to just push a narrative about you fell off or some other dumb shit. Like. I'm tired of going to the gaming section and seeing nothing but Fortnite videos. I want to watch something else. Where's the section for the videos for people who don't create Fortnite? That's all I'm saying. Can y'all, can Fortnite just get their own section over there? on the left side and then the rest of the game and content being over here because like y'all i'm a viewer too and i want to watch shit and i don't want to watch fucking fortnite videos and i'm sure you don't either like. this one of the top comments that i see a lot of in 2018 that pisses me off let's say i'll upload a rainbow six Siege trolling video i spend hours just getting the footage and then i have to spend hours editing the video just to upload it and be told by people in the comment section yo why are you keep uploading stream highlights this is lazy content what pisses me off is not only are they not stream highlights, but you would know that if you actually came through to the live streams and supported me. So not only are you complaining about nothing, but you're exposing yourself because you don't even watch me. Like. And even if I do upload a stream highlight from time to time, who cares? I average 500 to 1,000 concurrent viewers on Twitch. There are over 600,000 people subscribed to me on YouTube. Do the fucking math, and that means a lot of people did not see that highlight. It's fucking hilarious. They might have been busy with school, work, family, or something. So why not redistribute that content? Ninja is the biggest streamer on Twitch. All he uploads on his YouTube channel is stream highlights, doesn't get any complaints, and he has over 16 million subscribers on YouTube. He doesn't even edit his own videos. He has an editor. I have to do everything myself. It's called being efficient. Work smarter, not harder. Like. And what's wild is I've been uploading the GI podcast for years now, and there are still a lot of people who complain about me uploading a two-hour video because they're too stupid to understand what a podcast is. The point is, whether I upload the full podcast or just segments of my new podcast, niggas don't complain. Hey, thanks for watching my video. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you'll never miss another video. Also, consider pledging my Patreon. It helps keep the lights on. There's a link in the description box below. Peace.